Whew. What's good, good people? How y'all doing today? Well, today we are uh, out here with the Tello and the uh, Mi Repeater. And we're just gonna do a, um, a connection test, not so much a range test. So my purpose for using the repeater is to gain more of a solid video feed. And not only that, I have heard, I don't know if it's true, but guys have been saying that that choppiness that you get out of the video, recorded video, you know, the drop frames. A lot of guys have been saying with using a repeater like this, by boosting the Wi-Fi signal, it eliminates a lot of that uh, choppiness. So we're gonna test it out. Uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna fly the Tello without using the repeater first. So we're gonna connect directly to the Tello's Wi-Fi feed and see how it does. And I'm gonna use an app called Distance. So it uses a GPS positioning um, at whatever location you're at. Uh, so we'll use that to actually measure the distance and everything. Uh, I just said it's not really a range test, but we're gonna check that too anyway. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we'll do it both ways, with the repeater and without, and we'll compare and see how it does. All right, thanks for stopping by and thanks for sticking with me. Let's go. Okay, we are getting connected to the Tello. This is uh, again direct to the Tello. We're just going to change a couple of settings here, put us in high. It's not real windy here today, but I'm going to put us in high anyway. All right, and I'll put up on the screen, I'll take a screenshot of the position we're in right now using that app that I uh, mentioned. Uh, so it's it's a lit, it's off by maybe like two or three feet, but I think we can uh, we can take that margin for. Uh, of error. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are just going to launch. And as a matter of fact, what I really want to do is start that video. So let's turn the video on. Let's launch. And the Tello is in the air. And there's my baby. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to keep it at about that height. And we're just going to fly straight out. And keep an eye out for the messages that we get on the screen. You know, those Wi-Fi messages. There we go. Weak Wi-Fi signal. We already got it. We already had a breakup in the video feed. I'm just going to keep flying. We're getting that breakup again. And I still see it. Weak signal. It's still taking my... Um, pitch commands even though the feed has broken up now this is what I'm interested in wherever it is right now okay it came back so we still have control I think Oh, looks like we don't have control anymore yes we do we can push ahead hopefully it doesn't run into that bar I'm gonna move it over so this is impressing me I haven't, this is the farthest I've ever taken it out. This is stock. Okay. I wasn't expecting it to reach this far. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to turn it around and bring it back. So we know where we are. We're right at that fence over there. So when we go into our app, we're going to draw a line from here to that fence. And that's going to give us our distance. So let's turn it around and we're going to fly back. What I was kind of expecting to happen is that I would run out of range, control range, and then see that the with the Wi-Fi repeater, the range would be extended. So we're not really going to, like I said, that's not the main purpose of this test today. But what we did see, we saw how much that video feed broke up. And I'm expecting with the repeater that we won't have that. Uh, as much. All right, so let's go ahead and land. And let's reboot. And we're going to get connected to the repeater now. And we'll see how that does. All right, stick with me, you guys. I've done a full setup tutorial on this me repeater. So check the card 
and also check the description box for a link to the repeater so I'm gonna just show you real quick what I'm doing I powered on the repeater first now I'm gonna power on the tello okay and now I'm going to find the Wi-Fi signal for the repeater alright so we are now using the feed being emitted by the repeater so I'm gonna go ahead and change my settings once again like I always do I wish they would save but nonetheless all right once again we are launching from the exact same location exact same spot I'm gonna start the video and we're just gonna launch again and there's my baby in the air I'm gonna bring it back look how it just holds its position suckers nice man I know some people hate you but I love you <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and just take it straight out. We're looking for those error messages and we're looking for breakup in the feed. So far, no breakup. So far, no breakup. So far, no error messages. Okay, they're talking about the vision positioning, but not the Wi Fi. No Wi Fi error messages. Okay, it broke up right there. Okay. It did break up right there for the first time, and I am getting an error message right now. Okay. And you can see how I have my repeater set up. I'm going to tilt it up a little bit more. Maybe that will help. Okay. We're going to fly forward. And our feed only broke up once. And we are at that fence just like we were before. I would say this is definitely an improvement. All right, we're going to turn around again. We do have a little bit of lag and break up there, but we're going to come on back. Make sure we clear this soccer gate there, or goal, I should say. And we're coming on back. Okay, so I would say that's definitely an improvement. Um, the biggest thing is going to be how the video looks. Are we getting that same sort of breakup that we're getting before? And I know we're just looking at the ground here, but I'm pitching straight, straight forward. Okay. And we're back. Okay, so since we're doing this, I'm going to take it down to slow. And let's try to get some video footage. Okay, I'm going to stop that video so we have it. And one of the things that I noticed is when doing the special flight modes, that's when you get a lot of the uh, breakup. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do circle me. I'm a brother, so we're going to circle a brother. <laughs> okay, let me go out so I don't hit the goal, the goal there. All right, I'm going to hit circle now okay perfect conditions for, for flying today and let me come forward a little bit to get in that shot it's just doing a pre-programmed circle so it's not really tracking anything a point of interest I guess you could call it <laughs> yeah okay alright and right now I don't see any breakup zero I don't see any breakup excellent I think this is working okay let's do an up and away see what happens and I know for sure it breaks up on the uh, the stock Wi-Fi feed it always breaks up that I know for certain and I'm not seeing any breakup right now okay let's try 360 Try 360 and see what happens there. Not a glitch. Wow. That's great. Okay, so that would lead me to believe that the Wi-Fi... You know, here's the thing. There's, there's got to be better technology that it can't be that much more expensive. I don't know, maybe it's more cumbersome to deal with I'm not sure what it is but I think Wi-Fi has had its day 
I think we're done with quads that are controlled by Wi-Fi. Now you've got DJI, they have quads like the Spark and the Mavic Air that uses Wi-Fi, but it's some proprietary Wi-Fi that DJI has developed, so it's much better. So if if a better Wi-Fi signal would improve the video on this little drone, which I think is an awesome little little drone, first drone for somebody, and a nice selfie drone for somebody like me that has kids and a family and we like to, you know, have fun and take pictures and stuff. Give us a better Wi-Fi uh, uh, technology. It can't, I mean, and DJI was involved with this. So it's really surprising for me. I'm just going to do a manual pan. I don't see any breakup. Wow. So I guess what guys have been saying is true. And we're just in the slow rate now so we'll get better footage this time so let's see if it breaks up if we go out a little ways I don't see any breakup do you we're gonna check the recorded video as well but in terms of the feed you usually can see it in the feed and I don't see any breakup excellent Wow I am impressed all over again I mean, I'll say this, it is a shame that we, you know, we have to do this. It's a shame that we have to buy an additional accessory to get this to work the way it should out of the box. With that said, if you own one or you're thinking about getting one, just know that that's an additional cost that you are definitely going to want to uh, make if you want to use the video. Now, I didn't have too much of a problem with the video the way it broke up and all that because I edit my videos anyway and I find a way to use them but for most people most people don't want to fool with all of that right all right let's take a couple of photos take that off while we're out here let's just snap off some photos huh with the tello show you once again how good the camera is on this thing okay you know what here's the thing that's another thing to, to consider I moved away from the repeater in moving away from the repeater I started to get some lag now I'm coming back and we're back in business okay I just did that without you know realizing it okay it's landing I'm gonna push up on the throttle so I can come back come on back come on back overriding the auto land as long as I can come on come on come on come on and I'll get it to land on my launch pad yeah 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 yeah, yeah. come on come on and pushing down on the throttle excellent okay I pretty much gave you all of my impressions throughout the video real time but just to summarize I'll say that it's totally worth it to get this $10, $12 repeater if you already own a Tello or thinking about getting one. I really think it's worth it. Um, if you don't have a power bank, you can get these really cheap as well. This is one I've had for years. I have others as well. But um, Now, again, it's a bummer that we have to do that to improve the range and the video feed and the video um, being recorded. Uh, we shouldn't have to do that and again um, when I get home I'll double check the video recording just to make sure there was no lag which is what I was seeing uh, real time no lag in the video feed um, so yeah I say go ahead and do it and again I am a big fan of this tele big fan the way that it positions itself the photos that it takes and the video is decent and without all of the drop frames now it's even better all right so I'm gonna put up on the screen uh, if not now maybe in the next clip I'll put up on the screen the the range the distance using that app so I'll show you uh, basically how far it got stock how far it got with the repeater all right thanks for checking me out you guys hit me with a like if you like this video hey man I got so much coming I got so many ideas I, I don't have a lack of ideas. All I have is a lack of time. If there's anything you want to see on the channel, I'll try my best to accommodate you. Uh, I have a lot of things in the work, works. 
know anybody that might be interested in this video or that might find it helpful, share it with them for me. And as always, God bless you. Be good to somebody and be good to yourself. I will see y'all in the next one. Ha <laughs> ha, later.